taking the narcissist to court if uh, you have suffered a financial loss um, and you have left the relationship. Uh, this is part two, my friends. Uh, I'm sure with borderline narcissists and other toxic people, uh, we're going to be uh, doing a part two to uh, do not become the narcissist. In part one, we talked about exacting revenge uh, on um, the narcissist. That's what we don't want to do, my friends, because in fact, it turns you into... Uh, a narcissistic person because of the injuries that you have suffered from the narcissist. Um, um, we mentioned in part one that you have been conditioned um, um, because of uh, prolonged exposure to the narcissist. Um, but if you have suffered a financial loss or the narcissist is not paying child support like he's supposed to or you're seeking um if you have decided to seek a divorce, uh, um, you know, that could be a little bit of a controversial issue because some people believe marriage is for life. Uh, but <clears throat> I beg you to consider um, the person, is this the person that you married or um, did uh, or did they commit fraud, identity fraud as to who they are? Uh, but I digress. Let me go back to what I was uh, speaking about, and that's you not becoming the narcissist. Um, uh, again, we do not want to get vindictive, or we do not want to start mistreating others because we have suffered at the hands of the narcissist. If you do have to take the narcissist to court, get ready for a battle. Um, the narcissist is going to hit below the belt. Any information that they have on you that's embarrassing or any um, any information that they feel like that they can make up on you, they will do it. They will even send a letter to the judge. Um, they will lie to their lawyer to get their lawyer to lie. Uh, the lawyer don't know it, of course. That's I'm not saying that the lawyer is lying. I'm saying that the narcissist will tell the lawyer lies and the lawyer will believe it and repeat them. Um, get ready for uh, the narcissist to try to use the children against you. They may not even want custody, but they will sue for custody just because it upsets you. Uh, get ready for the divorce to be contended. Get ready for outbursts uh, uh, while you're actually in the courtroom. Um, so uh, I want you to be mindful of those things, but I encourage you, keep your composure. Do not exact revenge. State the facts. Document everything, my friends, uh, 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 and, and bring them to court. Do not forget, the narcissist is about misery. The narcissist has nothing good on as far as positive reinforcement. The narcissist is full of negativity. It began at the inception of the relationship. Even things that you think the narcissist may not have on you, nine times out of ten, they do. Get ready for surprise testimony from witnesses that the narcissists have turned into flying monkeys. Check out my video uh, I have on flying monkeys when narcissists get people to take sides against you. Uh, because the people have believed the narcissist. A lot of, of the flying monkeys are unsuspecting. So we want to take those type of routes and then get you uh, uh, in a safe place. Um, get you build up your strength practice uh, self-love. You're going to have to take care of yourself, get reprogrammed, um, build your energy supply back up, get around good people, supporting people. Um, who's going to be an uh, anchor for you? Uh, all the positive things that you have going for you, uh, remember those things. Remember the person you were before you got with the narcissist. All of these are going to support you and come out when you need them. I don't know if um, 
if uh, uh, if you have any type of spirituality or beliefs, uh, draw on those. Um, uh, the major support that's what helped me. I I went through a divorce with the narcissist after umpteen years. Um, so I have actually been through these things. That's how I'm able to uh, transfer uh, or, or pass these messages along. It would not be an easy trip, but I tell you, my friends, it'll be so well worth it. Uh, I have been able to advance in two years what I could not do with with 20 years with the narcissist and the burden that is lifted off of you is so freeing um but it, it takes a little work give yourself time be gentle with yourself but please my friends don't get vindictive because if you get in the ditch with the narcissist um it's going to put you in a in, in a, even a worse place uh, in the long run, uh, it's going to put you in the worst place and the narcissist will still come out on top because that is his game. You're a good person. Um, you, 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 you care about humanity. You can't get into the ditch with someone who does not feel empathy for other people. Strengthening those old relationships that you had, that you cut because of the narcissist, all of that will come into play the truth will come out. Don't worry about the truth. The truth has a way of coming out regardless as to how it comes out, but it comes out. And the narcissist is already reaping the benefits of being a narcissist because they have to cut, they have to carry that hatefulness and negativity, shame, guilt around with them 24 hours a day, seven days a week. They're already living their hell. They're just trying to pass some of it off on you and take some of your goodness because they can't get themselves out of that hell. The, the narcissist can only change when the narcissist hit rock bottom, become aware that they are a narcissist and take the steps to do something about it. I'll go more into how the narcissist change on a separate video. But right now, my friends, I'm concerned about you taking care of you, showing yourself self-love, being good to yourself. If there's something you want to say, say it. Don't hold it in because it will build up. Something you want to do, do it. Uh, as long as you're not hurting yourself or anyone else, do it, my friends. You have a blank, once you leave the narcissist, you have a blank sheet of paper and you can write anything on it that you want to about um, healing yourself and reinventing yourself. It's more about, it's more than just reinventing. You have to heal first. Then reinvent yourself and blossom. This is Sherry for Borderline Narcissist and Other Toxic People, my friends. I hope this helps. Keep your questions coming. Uh, uh, I will be addressing the situation as to why narcissists take uh, positive uh, uh, situations and comments and turn them around into negativity. Um, that's that's a part of it. Uh, but I'm going to enclose that in a separate video because there's a lot of components to it. But for right now... Be good to yourself. Please like, share, and subscribe, my friends. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.